Okay, so in today's session, I am going to be answering another question. I'm answering a question on, um, of course, quantitative techniques. This is the question that we are answering. It's about a probability tree diagram right there. All right, in a certain farm dealing in toxic waste disposal, when an employee arrives late for duty, there is one in four chances that he or she will be caught by the supervising manager. On the first occasion, an employee is caught late, he or she is given a warning and dismissed on the second occasion. Okay, so here we have a scenario here. Someone, um, yeah, the, 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 someone when someone comes late, for two times in a row and they are caught, then they will be dismissed. So they're asking us to use a probability tree decision or probability decision tree, yeah? Using a probability decision tree, find the probability that an employee who is led three times is not dismissed. So this is more like a conditional probability. We want the probability that someone arrives late three times and is not dismissed okay that's what the question says now take note that uh, if someone comes late three times and is not dismissed it simply means that uh, they've not been caught because let's look at the question the question says that in a certain farm dealing in toxic waste disposal when an employee arrives late for duty there is one out of four chances that he or she will be caught what does that mean it means that there is you when you arrive late you could be caught and there is a possibility of not being caught but then it continues to say that of course he's caught by the supervising manager but then it goes on to say that on the first occasion an employee is caught late he or she is given a warning and dismissed on the second occasion so in other words the dismissal only happens if you're caught what does that mean it means that you can come late as many times as possible as long as you are not caught, you will not be dismissed. But if, as you are coming late, if they get you two times, you will be dismissed. Now, the question wants us to use a probability decision tree to find the probability that an employee who is late three times is not dismissed. So, in other words, for somebody that is late three times and they are not dismissed, it simply means that they have not been caught or they've, they've, they've not been caught. It's either possible that uh, when they, they come late, they, they are not been, they've been coming late three times and they've not been caught the entire three times they came late. That is how it is possible for someone to come late three times that is not dismissed. If they come late three times, they are not caught. That is the possibility. Or they came late three times and out of the three times they came late, they were only caught once. Because when you quote once, uh, that you just give any warning late according to the question. Yeah. So either you came late three times and you're not, you are not caught, or you came late three times and they only caught you once. Because the moment they go get you two times, you're dismissed. So our job is to find the probability that an employee who is late three times is not dismissed. So that's what you're going to get st st start doing using a probability tree. So um, let's look at, let's get started here. So we are going to look at it like that. We are going to look at something to do with arriving late. Okay. Someone is arriving late. Okay. Now when they arrive, arrive late, they are either, now this is the first time. Okay. When they arrive late, they are either going to be caught. Let me just choose this. Either you're going to be caught that is denoted by C. You can use whatever letters you, you feel you will be easily interpret. So either they will be caught or they will be not caught. Let me use N. So when you arrive there, either they'll catch you or they will not catch you. Now, if you're caught, according to our question, uh, uh, they're telling us that uh, in a certain firm dealing in toxic blah, 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 when an employee arrives late for duty, there is one in four chances that he will be caught. So it means in order for you to have been caught, it is one out of four chances. That's the probability of being caught. So that means that if the probability of being caught is one out of four chances, it means the probability of not being caught is what is one minus a quarter? It is three quarters. So it means it is three out of four. Because uh, the probability of something happening 
and the probability of that something not happening should always give us one. It's one of the rules of probability. Yeah, that the probability of something occurring plus the probability of that thing not occurring should be equal to one. Yeah, probability of falling sick plus probability of being healthy should be equal to one. Probability of jumping and probability of not jumping should be equal to one. I think you get what I mean. It's one of those probability rules, foundation. So here, probability of getting caught, probability of not getting caught, when you add these two, they should give us, should be equal to one. Okay. So now, this first branch of the tree is showing us um, the first, uh, let, let me call it the, this is the first, um, you know, arriving late the first time. Okay. You're going to arrive late the first time. These are the possibilities that when you arrive late the first time, you can either be caught or you can not be caught. That's the possibility. So now let's extend it um, the second time. So that's the first time. So let's look at the second time. So the second time, again, you've come late. Okay. Again, this is the first time. Now the second time, if the first time you came, you came and you are caught. The second time you can come late and either still you can either still be caught or you're not caught same thing here the first time you came late and you are not caught so the second time you can come late and either you are caught or you are not caught and in both cases we said remember now the, the uh still we said that for you to be caught it's going to be one out of four times that you're not caught that's what the question says here, that when an employee arrives late for duty, there is one out of four chances that he or she will be caught. So it's a quarter. So the probability of not being caught is three quarters. Again, these two, these two when you add them, you add them should give you one. Same thing here. The probability of being caught is a quarter. The probability of not being caught is three quarters. This is the second time, okay? This is the second time. The second time this whole this whole thing these are the possibilities in the second time now they're telling us three times so that's we are going to extend this one more time to for the third time okay so again the third time out of these possibilities you can either be let me extend them here i think the space was not so much but still there are also still two possibilities okay so either you can still be caught or you're not caught. You can either be caught or you're not caught. Caught or you're not caught. Caught or you're not caught. Okay? And if you're caught, it is one out of four chances. Not caught, three quarters. If your caught is one out of four chances, here it is three out of four. If your caught is one out of four chances, here it is three over four. Here, if you're caught, it is one out of four chances. Here, it is three out of four, like that. So, now these are the branches that we have come up with. Now, let's not confuse this with when we are using probability trees, when we are picking certain things from it, a, 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 a box. Maybe we are picking beads from a box. The interpretation here will be different. But I think that will be a video for another day when we are specifically talking about probability trees. So, now, let's identify. Remember, these are three times. This is the first time, this is the second time, and now this was the third time right here. Okay? Third time. This is the third time. So now we are going to identify which ones, in which, 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 which route, or let, let, let me use that, which route uh qualifies for one that is not caught okay so let's get started remember we are finding the probability that an employee who is late three times is not dismissed so in order for you to be late and you are not dismissed it means that you came late three times and they failed to get you on two times because remember you will be dismissed if they catch you twice so it means if you are able to be late three times and they don't catch you that means that they, the manager was not able to catch you the supervising manager was not able to catch you for at least two times so where is that possibility that possibility let's get started with this one uh -huh. so the first time you come 
your quote okay the second time your quote so it means that as long as this as far as this branch is concerned you're dismissed okay the, so this one can't work so let's get again to the next one you come first time your quote second time again your quote so it means that this this by the time you reach here you've been caught so it means you cannot even get to here so that one is off let's follow this branch again from here you come they catch you the first time the second time you've not been caught the third time you've not been caught so what does that mean it means you came late the first time they caught you the second time they didn't catch you the third time they didn't catch you it means that this by the, by the time you're here it means you have you have come late three times and you've not been dismissed why because out of the three times you have come late they've only caught you once and yet dismissal requires that they catch you two times so we, we put a mark there so we move on to the next we have this one uh, again first time they catch you second time they don't catch you then you come the third time then they catch you so in that in that uh, um, limb in that one you already see that they've they've caught you two times so it means you've come late three times and they've already caught you ah uh, it's game over you'll be dismissed so this branch will not work so let's move on to the branches down here the branches down uh, let's go on first time you come you're not caught the second time you're not you let you're not caught then they catch you the third time so you only see that here in this branch they only caught you once right so it means you've come late three times but you've not been dismissed because dismissal requires that they catch you two times they've only caught you once so this one will work then again first time we, we are now looking at another limb first time you're not caught second times you're not caught that time you're not caught this one will also work okay i'll put a i'll mark it because it means that you came late first time they didn't catch you second time they didn't catch you third time you are still not caught so it means that you were not dismissed so we move on uh -huh. you arrive late the first time they don't catch you you're not caught the second time they catch you and then you come here the third time they catch you it means that as far as this route is concerned first time you, you you're not caught but they catch you the second time then the third time it means by the time you reach here because you've been called two times you're dismissed we are interested in finding paths or branches where you're not dismissed so this one won't work so let's try the last one first time they you're not caught second time they catch you third time they don't catch you so this one will also work what does it mean it simply means that you came late three times but they only caught you once so it means you've not yet been dismissed so in other words from our analysis of our tree we've been able to identify this that this and that so they want the probability to find the probability that an employee who is late three times is not dismissed so here we have probability that you're late three times and not dismissed so to get that probability we are going to try out all the three scenarios okay so the the scenarios here that we are trying out we have this the first one is this this one here so we are just going to follow the limb from where it starts this times that times that this to reach there okay so it's going to be a quarter okay times three quarters times three quarters so we shall come here and say it's a quarter times three quarters times three quarters plus we go to another limb there is this one so this one follows this times that times that so it's three quarters multiply that by another three quarters multiply that by a quarter plus we move on to the next so the next again we have this one here so to reach here we pass here go there go there so it is three quarters times three quarters times three quarters okay so that is plus we go on this is going to become three 
three quarters, multiply that by three quarters, multiply that by three quarters. That's the third possibility. Then we have another one, which is this one. So to, in order for us to get to this possibility, it is three quarters, multiply that times a quarter, times that. So we shall come here and say it's going to be plus three quarters, multiply that by a quarter, multiply that by three quarters, like that. So we're going to go ahead and add up the probabilities. So here it is a quarter, multiply that by three quarters times that. That is going to give us nine over 64 plus, of course, this is also going to be uh, nine out of 64 plus, this is going to be um, 27 out of 64 plus, this is also going to be 9 out of 64. Of course, when we add up all these, the, the denominator is the same. So what do we remain with up? It is going to be 54. And of course, when we simplify this, it's going to be ending up with, you know, divide that by 2, that is going to be 27. Divide that by 32. So this is the probability. In other words, we've answered the question. So that's the probability of, as you can see, the probability of, uh, you know, we've used the probability tree to answer the, the question that, find the probability that an employee who is late three times is not dismissed. So it's as simple as that. We have finished with that one. Okay.